So I think you can kind of put that in a couple of different bins. Of course, cytopenias are a major concern with a lot of the JAK inhibitors. So you think about Ruxolin and Fidratinib in particular that can lead to anemia and thrombocytopenia. Um, although we do see anemia and thrombocytopenia in patients who are treated with Bacritinib and Momolotinib as well. And so I think drugs like Lispatercept or targeting ACVR1 in different ways or, or either other approaches to treating anemia uh, are going to be really important as well as newer therapies to address thrombocytopenia as well uh, to delivering JAK inhibitor therapy. I think the other key unmet need uh, in the JAK inhibitor era is true disease modification, whichever, however you want to define that. There's a lot of different ways. It's a, certainly an area debate, but not only improving patients' lives and having them live longer because of those improvements, but truly changing the course of disease in a very, very deep level. And, and we need more agents that can do that. They can get in there and root out disease and really kind of set the back clock back on their diseases. And so I think we looked at drugs like Palabrasib and Nivitaclax that are kind of coming along in that sense, as well as other uh, uh, kind of more uh, agents that are kind of outside the norm of what we normally do for these diseases like Intellistat and the like, or even monoclonal and bispecific antibodies that are in development as well.